Well, Mark, after all, growing, selling, even smoking pot is legal in the state of Washington, but there are some rules. You have to be 21, you have to have a license to grow, and you cannot sell across state lines. But the sheriff says some of the Chinese that they rounded up in these raids yesterday did not know that they were breaking the law. They thought they were just working off debt so they could stay in this country. This investigation took months and was a big or a big part of it was some neighbors who thought they smelled something funny. They waited months for this moment. Even Lily, the dog, couldn't contain her excitement. She was barking like crazy. Julie Jump remembers smelling something next door when she was mowing this summer. At first we thought there was a skunk of some kind out here, but then it was pretty obvious we knew what was going on. They called a friend in law enforcement who told them they weren't the only ones complaining about homes in Grays Harbor County recently purchased by Chinese nationals that smelled like pot. 50 homes in all were raided Tuesday. Investigators seized 32,000 pot plants worth an estimated $80 million. Marijuana likely headed to the East Coast where pot prices are higher than in the West. It gave me a peace knowing yesterday that uh, we don't have to worry about it. Police arrested 44 people. The first 10 to appear in court were ordered held on $2 million bail because the judge considered them flight risks. Immigration and drug enforcement agents are now involved trying to determine who else might have been. We'd have never thought that that was going to be. The Jump family figured getting involved might clean up their neighborhood or at least that smell, but they're glad it may have done more. The whole county's kind of small rural community feel, so we know when something's kind of amiss. Don't mess with us Grays Harbor people. <laughs> Ten of those who were arrested could directly be tied to the homes or played larger roles in the operation. Those folks are still being held here at the county jail, but the other 34 are going to be released tonight while the investigation continues. The prosecutor says they are not off the hook yet. They just don't quite have enough evidence to press charges at this point. The sheriff is concerned because a lot of these folks don't have anywhere to go. He's working with shelters and churches to find them homes because they don't have families here and where they were living. Those are now closed crime scenes. Live in Grays Harbor County, Drew Mickelson, King 5 News.